new news. I like that. There we go. That's how we do it. Buffalo Bills are not dropping out of their lease. This all on the heels of Roger Goodell saying the Bills needed to make important decisions within the next few months. Was that what he was talking about? Before we get into it, Roger Goodell can suck it because he doesn't pay for the stadiums. He just benefits from them. True. So I don't want to hear his opinion on that. But the words have been said. The Bills need to pay attention to their stadium situation, and they need to make that decision in the next few months. Do you realistically see, one, the Bills building a new stadium, or two, the NFL putting enough pressure on the Bills like they would relocate the team if – they didn't build a new stadium. A lot going on there, right? I don't think the NFL has the cojones to threaten the organization with relocating them for them. Where is it going? Well, it's a private industry. They can't. Where is it going? Where's the stadium going to go? Where's the bills going? Where are the bills going? Oh, of course, in the next vein, they started talking about Toronto as a market again. That's not a life I want to live again. That was hell. Oh, God. Toronto. Playing games in Toronto every year. Toronto and Bon Jovi. Good Lord. Here's the deal. All comes down to money for them, right? Mm-hmm. And San Felt's always about money. If it were, if it, if they were the Syracuse Bills, would you still be a fan? If they were the no. Memphis Bills. No. If they were the um, uh, South Dakota Bills. That's still a state <laughs> of confusion. <laughs> My point is this. They're going to go where the money goes. The outpouring of support that the the Bills fans have for their team. Like, hey, we'll still get fans that buy jerseys and go to the stadiums and and fill the stadiums for us. Because it's all about money for them. So they don't care if they relocate them just as long as they can still generate interest and revenue. Exactly. Okay. So if if you're a Bills fan... Not a Buffalo Bills fan. But if you like the Bills, wherever they move, I'm going to be a loyal fan. Mm. It seems like there would be a lot more of those people, and then people would be like, if they move, I'm not going to a Buffalo game. No, I think Buffalo would. We're talking Cleveland-esque. Yeah. Do, you, do you remember when Cleveland left to become the Ravens? How many Browns fans became Ravens fans? They did. Mm. They did. So, but if they move Buffalo, that would be so interesting, though. If they move the team to, like, uh, let's say, Salt Lake. You're the Salt Lake Buffalo Bills, but then they get a new team in Buffalo. Oh, we're going like, to play this Cleveland. game. Oh, God. How awful would that be? No. I have no interest. Because in, I would in take, du- here's this. If they this do, went down a dark hole quick. If they do decide a, a new stadium. Right. Which, okay, they have the full right to do that. I would take one season of the Toronto Bills. To get a new stadium? Get a new stadium. While they okay. built it. Well, yeah, because I think they have to put it in the same spot. You got to put it in the same spot. You just built that facility. The Bills have enough property where they could build a stadium across the street, keep the mm-hmm. new era stadium the way it is. You know, have a, have a full season of football, build the one next door. Oh, okay. Just yes. like they did with Yankee Stadium. Yankee Stadium did the same thing. So when they were building the new Yankee Stadium, they built it literally right next door. You were sitting in the old stadium. You could see out the back of the old stadium into the building of the new stadium. So the Yankees didn't ever lose a season at Yankee Stadium. They just shut it down one year, turned it into a parking lot. And that's literally, they backed the trucks up and turned it into a parking lot. <laughs> Um, and then the new stadium was ready to go. The Bills have the property to do that. Yes. Now, the question really becomes, the Bills have been surveying for a long time, are we going downtown or are we staying in Orchard Park? I because think I think there's just a matter of time before it's a new stadium. It's, it's just a matter of time. It's a matter of convenience for Pagula to have the new stadium downtown. Yeah, I agree with that. I don't understand. I don't think it's functionally it would work. Mm-hmm. Uh, would you generate, uh, would there be economic growth? downtown if you had the stadium there yeah i don't course. know well i think there would be you, you know restaurants would benefit you know that area down there yeah. is just a lot of business not a lot of um entertainment right Pagula, there's a lot of entertainment actually down there well i'm just saying it's surrounded by office buildings <laughs> yes you true. know yeah, okay it's surrounded by office buildings. so for pagula no, i think it would it would benefit but the 
one of the experiences of being a Bills fan is the tailgate, and it's been well known for everything. Mm-hmm. If you put it downtown, that is, yep. Okay, that may be off the table. Mm-hmm. People will find places to do it. I'm just saying that not you don't have all that space that you usually have. Do you really want to be liable for Bill's tailgate in a parking garage? No, I don't. Not no. at all. No. I no. wouldn't want to be liable for that. That's Listen, one of the things. I, one I of love the, the members of Nation. I love I love Bill's Mafia, but you cannot trust them in confined spaces. No. No. I, I, I echo your sentiments of, of the love for the nation and the mafia. But somebody will fall somebody fell off. Somebody will the jump upper off deck the in the, in the Bill Stadium. For yeah, crying out. Jump off the parking garage. Yo, I bet you I can make it from the second story through a table. No. That, yes, that's going to happen. Do not do that, sir. I think it would come down to the fact of the Bills would say this to the public. Do you want, a, we're either moving to Toronto or we're moving downtown. Oh, God. And I would go, go that's downtown. our only, no, they go downtown. that's our only choices. Rebuild the stadium in Orchard Park. Like you said, please, for the love that, of God, you, you have all stadium. of that real estate. You can do whatever you want. You're going to lose the RV lot for the year. What's it? A half oh. hour from Buffalo to Orchard Park to get there on a game day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Google it. Relax. Just go there. <laughs> you don't need them both. Downtown. That's one day a week. <laughs> Not asking to drive there every day. One yeah. day a week. Um, just leave the keys to Bean and McDermott. They'll take care of everything. Mm-hmm. They'll, they'll shut the lights off when they leave. It's right. fine. It comes down to money. Everything always comes down to money. So the Bills build a new stadium. How does that impact free agency that next season? Let's just hypothetically say Is Bills build. Why do you got to do that to me? I'm just saying, if it's a dome, you're What's talking the about you. What's the difference? This guy. Well, one's got a cap and one doesn't. Yeah. I get the I get the physical difference. But well, I'm the saying physical from the, to the my players, point is this: the difference. Why Why is it? Why is it a draw for a defensive tackle to sign in Buffalo? Because I don't know. Because they have a rotational front and extension. Oh, okay, career. okay. I'm, I'm okay. thinking in vein of the stadium and oh, no, weather. No, 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 I was no, no. like, oh, I, I, don't I, know. I completely went sideways. Okay, that. okay. Within the defense, they mm-hmm. rotate. You're going to be fresher. Yep. You're going to have. You're going to extend your career longer. Mm-hmm. Okay, you're not playing 80 percent of the snaps. You're playing 30, 35, maybe 40. The way that a new stadium draws players, um, they're Oh man, you're going to play in Buffalo? That's too cold there. Well, mm-hmm. no, they play in a dome though. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah, they play in a dome. Sounds good. Mm-hmm. Let's do it. Right. I think. I think for some players, it might it might be a draw for free agency, but other players, I don't think it matters. You see, I, if they build a dome, and this is this is something I, I haven't heard a lot of people talk about, but if they build a dome, they're immediately creating competition for Key Bank Center against themselves, right? Because concerts will go to the football stadium and hold twice as many people, right? Because yeah. that's, pro- that's the problem, right? Is If you build a dome, it immediately competes with Key Bank Center. Key Bank Center is the only indoor arena in Buffalo. Well, if the Bills build a dome stadium, then now you can double capacity because it'll be twice as big as Key Bank Center. The build- you know how you offset that? Mm, no. You make it 90,000. You make the capacity of Bills Stadium 90,000. Oh, God. You don't tell me you could sell out games. How many go there now? now 70? You, you you could probably sell our games at 90 right now. No, right now. No, I'm just saying this. Just just stay with me. If there's 70,000 that have the stadium right now, mm-hmm. and they sell out, individuals like yourself that don't want to go when it's cold, mm-hmm. you're immediately going to a game. Cause different, different story. Yeah, I hate okay. cold. Uh, yeah, That's exactly. one. Different story. Two is there are probably people that – um. There are probably people that would want to go to the game, but like don't because hey, uh, there's so many season ticket holders. I couldn't get a ticket. This happens. Uh, we just went to the tailgate, then we went home. There's a lot of people that do that. Yeah, actually. so it's tailgate, like but... now those people would go to the games. You would offset the money that you would lose. You could be competing against yourself for a key bank. Now you have a stadium that holds ninety five thousand instead of an arena that holds seven, like twenty five. Yeah. So now you can do all that stuff. Mm-hmm. It would it it would far outweigh, and you'd have more entertainment come here because you have a dome. I agree with that. Uh, yeah, and in Buffalo, it's like you go to Toronto, you come through Buffalo, and then usually when I see tour dates for for things, I see Toronto oh, and I see Syracuse. Pittsburgh <laughs> or Syracuse yeah. or something like that. But uh, it's a great point, um, or Cleveland. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, so but in that respect, I don't think you got to worry about the funds. 
But if you increased it to let's say eighty five thousand, let's make it a nice mm-hmm. number like that. All right. You would you would easily sell out. It's tough, right? I don't know, man. What do you guys think? I don't know. 